Transparency. I appreciate it. Let's bring in our panel to discuss this and some other hot button issues. She is the author of the book Second Class How the Elites Betrayed America's Working Men and Women, Bacha Angar Sargon. Also, the author of Supermoms Activated, Jacqueline Toberoff. Our power panel here. All right, ladies, so we have the reality on the ground there in Springfield, which really isn't um, so much about animals. It's really about when you have people who come in and strain an infrastructure, and they're, 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 there's not, you know, they always want to say you just are anti-immigrant. It's not the case at all. I mean, Bacha, I'm talking, this is second class. They're betraying American working men and women. People are coming here, um, some of them through legal routes, and they, they're not getting a, a good shake at all. And in a case like this, they're set up to fail. Bianca, I have to commend you and Mike for that amazing reporting because unlike the media on the left, but also some of the media on the right, you guys totally nailed what's actually happening here, which is it's not about pets. It's about a larger betrayal of working class Americans with an influx of cheap labor. That is the real outrage here. Um, there was a video that came out of uh, Springfield of a factory owner saying he wishes he could effectively exchange all of his local American workers for Haitian migrants because they work so much harder and they don't ask for breaks and they don't ask for anything, right? That is the outrage, is that to cater to the ownership class, the Democrats have imported millions and millions and millions of immigrants, and they're lowering the wages for the working class and straining the infrastructure structure, just like Mike so excellently reported. It's true. And when you're talking about importing workers, it's hurting the American worker. And also, you know what? It does a disservice. Look about the women and the children uh, that are coming across. People think they're coming for something. If the left really cared, they wouldn't let them get sold into sex slavery. They wouldn't let them get raped while they're coming across with cartel members, Jacqueline. Uh, but no, they want to politicize this issue as if as if the, the Republicans or the conservatives are the one with no heart, when they're literally funneling and letting cartels have operational control over our border, making billions of dollars while American workers get hurt. Yeah, I was struck by the compassion of the, the people that were interviewed. Their children are starving. Uh, their children are in a broken educational complex. It really speaks to how heartless the Democrat system is, how heartless the Harris borders are is uh, these Haitians, 20,000 of them, were injected into a community of under 60,000 residents. By the way, why weren't Ukrainians injected into this community? Ohio is a swing state. Uh, this is disgusting. The Haitians are being treated disgustingly. And of course, so are the people in Springfield. Story won't get told on legacy media. We know that. They're going to try and push that. Uh, there's vibes. There's Taylor Swift endorsement. This is kind of interesting, though. Hip hop producer Farrell Williams says, you know, he's annoyed. He says celebrities need to get out of this, that, you know, he says uh, they need to shut up. Nobody asked you. Uh, I guess Taylor Swift, uh, that's to you, uh, Bacha. And, you know, but it is all about the celebrities, whether it be George Clooney now jumping in. And this was an interesting uh, conversation, though, with Farrell, though. I mean, I think we've all heard enough from folks like Robert De Niro and Taylor Swift now who don't live in our real world. I love this from Pharrell Williams. Um, I mean, part of me thinks this is a sign that he's voting for Trump, but, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to take away from him the more important thing that he did, which is say, look, why are people asking celebrities what they think every average American should make this decision for themselves? And the, the appeal to celebrities is so disgusting to me because these people are all incredibly wealthy, incredibly well off. Their issues are not the issues of average Americans, and yet they attempt to sway them through hearts and minds right, by using their elite status to tell people, you, struggling Americans, vote for who makes my life better. I hate that, and I love that Pharrell Williams called it out. Yeah, and this is a tweet that didn't age well, and it's one with Kamala praising P. Diddy, who's now in this sex trafficking scandal here. I think we still have that, but that's one that Kamala doesn't want uh, back in the public, but she thanked him for holding a town hall back in 2020. This has always been what the Democrats are about, though, the celebrity buzz. Final thoughts to you, Jack. Jacqueline. Yeah, this is really interesting. P. Diddy was given the keys to the city by New York City Mayor Adam almost a year ago. Uh, there is really something disgusting about what's happening on the left. 300,000 children are missing that have crossed the border under, again, Harris, the border czar. And here they are, you know, hobnobbing all the time with these perverted celebrities. Uh, it's, it's really striking. It is. Uh, two powerful women there. Two great books to read. Supermoms Activated and Second Class, Bacha and Jack.